you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I got the top 10 offensive, most overpowered players that you guys need right now, Madden Ultimate Team. Now, the thing here is, is that you guys were saying in my overpowered player list that I was heavily favored to defense, which is right. So I had a top 10 list for the whole game, but I realized I have like eight defensive players and two offensive, maybe even one offensive. Now, the reason for that being is that I'm just in love with the way defense plays this year and the way abilities on defense plays and just defense as a whole. So in that, in that I just I love all the defensive players. I love Gilmore, Taylor, Shazier, Von Miller, Ken Houston, Jalen Ramsey, Donald, and the list goes on. There's so many guys I love in this game right now. And offensively, I'm like, eh, like uh, quarterbacks are okay. Wide receivers are okay. I love Marcus Allen and the new guy that's on this list. But I figured it'd be better if I split them up. So I'm gonna do a top offensive and top defensive, and I'm updating it because there are new players that have been coming out. So kinda 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 fits the bill right now, you understand? You guys get what I'm trying to say here? So there's gonna be a completely offensive list starting from 10 all the way down to one. Now, this list I think is a lot better. So it differentiates, you guys actually get 10 offensive players rather than one offensive player. So I pretty much always did the defensive video. So this will definitely help you guys more. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, smack the sub button. We're so close to 7k subs, we're like 40 off. So I greatly appreciate it if you guys can go smack it. Go down below, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And also, let's get this video to 300 likes. You like that, my little, my little sign language there? 300 likes. If you guys can do that, that'd be crazy. You guys have been smashing the like button. I hope you guys can do it on this one too. If you guys are loyal and you watch this video, you might as well drop a like. It helps out the channel, so if you support me as it is, liking it just helps me a lot more. So guys, let's get into this list. So I like to always run this by the auction block, because I can compare from there. I can see the prices. You guys can get a good look, how I get there. Even people who don't know how to use the auction block properly, I guess that would help too. So coming in at number 10, right? A guy that I don't have on my team, but if I had more coins, I probably would. He's only at number 10 because I feel like there's going to be better guys. Jerry Rice. Right here, 90 overall wide receiver, 87 speed, 86 jumping, 89 catching, 86 catch traffic, 85 spec catch, 89 short route running, 87 medium route running, 83 medium deep route running, I mean. So he's fast, he can jump, he's tall, he can catch, he can route run. He's the perfect package. The only issue with wide receivers is that we get a free Torrey Holt, and in my opinion, I'd rather have Torrey Holt than Jerry Rice. I love my Torrey Holt. I really love this Torrey Holt. And then on top of that, I have D-Hop, so that's kind of why I don't have him. But the only issue with Jerry Rice is there's going to be better receivers very soon. And Jerry Rice is a guy that might not get an upgrade for quite some time. Typically, he might not get an upgrade to like Ultimate Legends or for a while. So for that reason is why, like, even if you get Jerry Rice fully powered up right now, you probably can't keep him year round. Like for now, you probably have to take a break from him for a while. So that's why I don't personally have him because I know he's like a short term kind of guy right now. Now, if you guys like Jerry Rice and you're going to that's the guy you want, go for him, power him up. I'm just saying that he might not get an upgrade for a while. And if those stats are really good now, they won't be good forever. Wide receivers, halfbacks, the landscape's always changing on those guys. So next on the list, I'm going, I'm going a little lineman heavy here. I love lineman this year. I love the way the line blocks. You can, I, I see the difference in run blocking. I definitely do as I made upgrades. Bruce Matthews coming at number nine. Bruce Matthews is a beast. I'm comparing with my own Bruce Matthews. He's got 87 strength, 89 awareness, and 88 pass blocking, 86 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 88 run blocking, 86 run block power, and 89 run block finesse. He is... Is it running? Is it full footwork? No, it is finesse. Okay, just make sure I wasn't being dumb. He can run and pass block, and he's strong, and he's tall, and he can decently lead block. Nothing more to say. He is a lineman, but trust me, guys, with the way I like to run the ball, Bruce Matthews has been a huge addition to the line. Now, his next on the list, you guys have heard on my other list. I think he actually made my overall top 10 list. So you guys are going to recognize this name right here. One of my favorite players. Let's not... I, I remember this time, though. Browns, not Giants. Odell Beckham Jr., one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. This card's a beast. Now, the re you guys know why I love Superstar cards. I don't have to go in on this. Superstar cards are so overpowered because they come in... They're, they're, pretty much, they're cheaper than they think. If you discount the training cost in this card, you're pretty much paying, in theory, 100 k for Odell Beckham Jr. Now, how does that make sense? Max, you know less. You're almost getting Odell Beckham Jr. for free if you really think about it. So, he has 87 speed, 89 jumping, 87 catching, 82 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 86 short route running, 85 medium route running, and 84 deep route running. Now, let's say you, let's, let's say this Odell had no abilities, nothing on it. An 89 overall Odell Beckham Jr. would probably go for about 180k, right? To 180k, 200k, and 89 overall Odell. So, if you want to power up that Odell, 
add 100k on top of it for training in the card and the car goes to like 30k so like add like 100k just about so now you're paying about 280 for a powered up Odell. oh wait now put abilities he costs like 1500 that's like another 80k worth of abilities so add 80k on top of the 280 that's 360k so it would cost you 360 to 400k depending to build this odell beckham jr this one comes with pre-built abilities you get rack them up streak specialist double move elite and cross specialist that's huge you in theory get a powered up fully chemmed up with nice ability wide receiver for the cost of just the card i love these much superstar cards keep that in mind for like the future when it comes to getting much superstar cards they're definitely a great bang for your buck yeah, yeah i said that right i said that wrong next guy's a tight end now i usually don't include limited time guys but when it is the most overpowered this guy's got to be up there not zach Ertz. he's a bum disregard him i'm talking about kellen winslow kellen winslow oh there's one left perfect he has 82 speed 66 strength 90 catching 89 catching traffic 90 spec catch 91 short route running 85 medium route running and the only bad thing about him is his run blocking six foot five he's huge he's fast he can catch he can route run he's got he's the whole package if you had to get a tight end it'd have to be kellen winslow but guys limited times are more annoying because they do cost a lot more so that's why i use kittle kittle is my budget version of uh kellen winslow you take away his catching but you leave the same speed similar height and good run blocking so remember if you can't afford winslow i highly recommend kittle you can power up winslow it's another option now next on this list is another lineman anthony munoz and it's because i love his price he's so cheap for a, a 90 overall left tackle he has 87 strength, 87 awareness, 90 pass block, 90 pass block, 88 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 88 run block, 88 run, 86 run block power, and 88 run block finesse. This card is awesome. Not many left tackles can run and pass block this well. Look at Joe Staley. When he can run block well, his pass block's pretty bad. Trent Williams, when he had good, I think Trent Williams has one of them. I forget which one he has. But most left tackles only have one or the other right now. So Anthony Munoz can do them both, and he's strong, he's tall, he can do it all. And he's not too expensive for a left tackle, so I'd highly recommend you guys go pick him up. Now, next on the list is the guy that I personally wouldn't get, but I have to include him because he is the highest overall card in the game right now. And that is the Game Diamond Master, Kurt Warner, coming in at 600k. If you compare him to Pat Mahomes, he pretty much kills him. Speed, whatever. Pat Mahomes is slow too, in my opinion. Throw power, slightly worse, but he does have a 93 short accuracy, 93 medium accuracy, 91 deep accuracy. 93 throw under pressure, 78 throw on the run, 88 play action. So his short, medium, deep throw under power, uh, throw under pressure, and his play action will all meet the threshold. And play action will meet it when you put a cam on him or you power him up. So overall, this card is definitely a beast. He gets hot route uh, master, I believe it's called, which is like a cheesy cam where you can pretty much hot route anyone and a bunch of players have extra hot routes. So in theory, in my opinion, it makes everyone have abilities. So you put one of, you know you can only have three abilities on offense. So Kurt Warner's kind of a cheat cheat where you can put the hot route master on him and technically everyone gets like, technician specialist stuff so i think it's kind of like a cheat sheet what i use kurt warner no i'd much rather wait for like a vic a cunningham a McNabb, or one of those type of cards but or the current guy that i'm going to next and that is steve young so steve young sorry i was looking at the price of Mahomes. steve young is 464k he was 390 wait for legend friday and saturday legend friday now because they dropped limited times that day steve young is a beast the only issue with steve young is i feel like he's bait i feel like he's bait like madden's like oh go buy the they always do this they drop the they drop the first mobile quarterback of the year everyone goes crazy everyone overpays for him in two three weeks vick's out McNabb's out cunningham tam newton i'm not taking the bait i know once more mobile quarterbacks drop they'll start dropping in price so i will be waiting although trust me if you guys want young and you're a big young fan you want him for the year or you have the extra coins to spare which i clearly don't you get young you power him up put a skate artist he's a god Escape artist is like you become Sonic the Hedgehog, you become Barry Allen, the Flash in the backfield. So very, very useful. He has great stats, 81 speed, 88 throw power, 89 throw accuracy short, 89 throw accuracy mid, 86 throw accuracy deep, 89 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 87 play rec, play action. I mean, he has insane stats. He really does. I wish his speed was slightly higher, but for the time being, this is an overpowered card I play on weekly league a ton. But again, I'd rather wait because I'm not taking the bait. I'm going to end up powering him up, doing all that, and then getting a new quarterback. So I'm not doing that. Now, Coming in number three is a card that has not come out yet. Whatever card comes out on Friday for the Mutt 10 promo, that will be the third best card in the game. Now, the reason being is that right now, I think running backs preserve the highest spots in the game right now because they're so overpowered. So I have at one and two a running back. So number three, whatever card comes out for Mutt Hero, I mean, not Mutt Hero, Mutt 10 promo will be the third best card in the game. Why is he not two or one? Because it can't be another running back because Bo Jackson came out already. So it's going to be a different position. I know the position is more overpowered than running back. Unless they drop a LaDainian Tomlinson, which I don't think they will. So... With that being said, third play, whatever they drop, month 10, if it's a Calvin Johnson, a Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, 
that would be the most overpowered card coming in at number three unless it's not offensive but you know i'm just taking taking a guess there now coming in at number two i'm gonna do them both at the same time for one and two it's bo jackson and marcus allen so marcus allen on the right is my running back he's 88 speed 87 acceleration 88 agility 88 carrying 73 catching 84 elusiveness 84 trucking and 84 break tackle now this card with evasive is so glitchy i told you i had 600 yards in a game with him seven touchdowns i destroy people with him my whole game plan is good old line run the ball i love him inside zone halfback dive pitch count doesn't matter he's a beast now the one thing with him though right now is that the only reason he's not better than bo jackson is bo jackson has better speed better excel better carrying better looseness better trucking better break tackle need i say more bo jackson has 90 speed 89 excel 88 agility 89 carrying 58 catching 87 elusiveness 91 trucking and 89 break tackle so he's a god now if you power this bo jackson up you'll also have a 91 speed which is crazy 91 speed at this point in the game is unreal plus he can get i don't know if he can get armbar but he can get bruiser he can get punisher he can get wrecking ball he can get so many crazy trucking stiff arm abilities now it all depends on how you play these cards in my opinion are interchangeable depending on how you play now it's hard to say that actually because bo jackson has to be the best one just by because of the speed but in my opinion bo jackson can't get evasive Marcus Allen can. So I'd much rather have evasive right now. If Bo Jackson get evasive, it'd be a wrap. But he does have Bruiser and Punisher and all that stuff. So trust me, you get near this guy, you're on, you're, you're on your ass. You're falling. He's knocking you over. So Bo Jackson has been unreal when I burst in the weekend league, but I have contained him. I've had a harder time containing Marcus Allen because Bo Jackson, all you got to do is get two guys there. So what I do is I play to the side and I cover over the top of the safety linebacker. If I get two tackles there, I'm typically good. Marcus Allen, on the other hand, his jukes are crazy because he has the glitchy evasive juke. So Marcus Allen's been a little harder for me to cover. But because of overalls and speed, I'm going to have to give Bo Jackson number one nod there. But guys, that is it for the video. The only issue with number one and number three is that they are limited time cards. So they do cost a crazy amount, but people clearly can afford them. I'm trying to get a borrow Bo Jackson from someone for a gameplay. So if I can get that done, I will have a gameplay for you guys in the next few days or so. Hopefully. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smack the like button. Let's get 300 likes in this video. You guys always love these type of videos, so I hope this helps. If you guys get 300 likes in this video, I will drop a top 10 defensive within the next day or so. And also, guys, make sure to go down below, smack the sub button, get us to 7,000 7, subs by tomorrow, and comment down below if I missed any players, guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.